Hello and welcome. This is the Wobble Life Evolution from start to now. This is Tom Dunn, the creator of Wobble Life. Back when he studied computer science, he hit a rough spot and decided to focus on the thing he liked the most within programming. For months, this was his practice and that laid the foundation for the creation of Ruffy Life. He then formed Rubber Band Games and invited the 3D designers Mark Suda and Will Robinson, and lastly the sound designer Alice Green. The team wanted to make a game that they wanted to play, and has focused on continuing making new updates, and that's what we are going to talk about in this video. So let's begin! Day of July 2020 was the day of the release of Ruffy Life. There were only four islands, the jungle, the mountain, the resident island and the main island. There were seven jobs being the jelly delivery, pizza delivery, racing, chef, Trash collection, furniture delivery, and emergency. There were some clothings and dye stores and two salons. You could find some secrets like The alien outfit that you get by completing the pizza job at midnight. The devil outfit that you had to go behind a waterfall and do some puzzles to get and interacting with a sloth hanging on a bridge unlocking the sloth head. The rocket car was also a secret in a container. Fun fact! <laughs> you could only do the jelly job one time. In the next update, there came two new jobs. The power plant job. And the newspaper job. A few new outfits were added to the clothing and salon stores. The scooter and seaplane vehicles were added. And now you could sell your house. But the most important thing of all in this update was the horse on stick. <laughs> Fun fact! <laughs> the monster did not have a name yet. In the next update, the temple puzzles came. In it, you could unlock two outfits, the mummy and explore outfit. A few new ways to do a race was also added, race with the biplane and jet ski.
it was first in this update, a map of the Wobby Islands came. Fun fact! You could dress up as a chicken before there were chickens on the island. In the next update, the farm island arrived. And a bunch of farm things, like the farm jobs, some farm vehicles and farm houses. The update also included the in-game club as well as the weather icons. Now you could also unlock achievements through Steam. Fun fact! <laughs> the jetpack that you could unlock with the pizza job were now a functioning jetpack. In December 2020, the first Christmas update was released. Where the islands become snowy and you could destroy snowmans and get some outfits out of it. Fun fact! <laughs> there came a present counter and a propeller hat. This was the update that added pets and the mining job. The pets are the dog, the cat, the fish, the tropical fish, the crab, the starfish, the penguin, the bee, the chicken, the doctor owl, and the secret pets are the monster that you will unlock by giving Louis 50 toxic barrels, the ghost pit, which is complicated, so I will just link a video where you can go see how to unlock the ghost pit. And lastly, the fancy chicken that you will unlock by giving a chicken a money bag. This update also added a few more clothes in the salons and the clothing stores. Fun fact! <laughs> I don't have a fun fact. Wow. In the next update, there came an emote wheel. And a tutorial. The night outfit also came in this update and a secret ghost knight costume. And two new pets, being the spider burger and the snail. The motor chopper is also a secret that came in this update on the farm. Fun fact! The thunderstorm and rain weather came first in this update. I wonder how the plants grew before this update. The next update was the first major update. And it added the firefighter job.
The wonderful Wobbly Quiz where you are tested on the night about the Wobbly World. And the Lombard Jack job. The Fighter Jet Race. Yeah. But the biggest things in this update was the mountain lab, where there were a bunch of things you could do. The science lab job. You could find a baby spider and return it to its mom unlocking the spider costume. You could complete a set of missions and if you do, you get a UFO. But all the secrets were not in the lab. There were some dino pens that you could unlock by finding them on a little island in the jungle. There came six new vehicles. The hamster ball. The limousine. The ice cream truck. The, the hoverboard. The mighty tree cutter. And the fire jet. There was also added some pets, like the rabbit, the parrot, the top, and little C. There came a toy shop where you could get toys. <laughs> and lastly, there came some world slots and character slots. Fun fact! The lab has eyes on the jelly man. Yeah. The next update was the update with the museum and some of the artifacts. And the artifacts is connected with the treasure hunting job. The rewards for doing a art exit were the T-Rex outfit, the archaeologist outfit, the gold pants and amulet, the ancient mask, the caveman costume, the dinosaur pet and the caveman car. Fun fact! <laughs> there has been queens on the Wobbly Island. The next update added the ability to sleep. The farm ways. And added the water tank vehicle. And it's pretty fun to mess around with. A new treasure hunt collection was also added. And the reward was the treasure chest. Fun fact! <laughs> the crab dances like forever when you find it. The second major update is now and it adds two new islands, the Mansion Island and the Paradise Island. The jobs that were added was the taxi job, the ice cream job,
and the air with good job. The update also added golf courses. The new pets were the snake, the golf ball and unspeakable. There came some new clothes like the two merch shirts and the moon boots. There came one more artifact collection and a bunch of vehicles like the muscle car, the air rescue helicopter, the golf cart, the large plane, the old car and finally the sports car. Fun fact! <laughs> Manny found the ice cream scoop hat by an accident. The second Christmas update had of course the snowman's again. But it also brought candy canes. You could give to the wobbly elves and you would get some outfits out of it. Fun fact! <laughs> you could not use your jetpack and propeller hat in the cave anymore. In the third major update, you could fish in the fishing job. And dance with the disco job. And I haven't mentioned yet, but once in a while, Bobby Life hold a contest about ideas you draw and send them in to Bobby Life. Then Bobby Life will pick some and put them into the game. The pets from players are the headshot, the outlet pet. You've got to find some energy in the toxic base job room to get the gnome. You have to interact with a gnome and Jeremy you get from completing the cave artifact collection. There came some vehicles like the speedboat, the yacht, the tugboat and it added the ocean collection. The UV came in this update. There came a jungle mystery slash ancient mystery. And you get one of my favorite vehicles, the hoverboard from completing it. Fun fact! <laughs> the Wobblies didn't blink before the update. In this update, the Jellyman needs your help with fighting things like the engine and wheels to his jelly car. There came a new fishing area, the ice fishing. And a fishing book, where if you get every fish in the game, you get the super yacht. But only 2% of players can enjoy this beautiful yacht. There came one more newspaper job on the Paradise Island. Fun fact! <laughs> this was the update that brought us the drowning animation.
In this update, there came three jobs. The recycling job, the construction job, and the demolition job. There came much clove in the different clothes shop. Yeah. Fun fact! <laughs> there came some sounds to the sloth head and treasure chest. This was the fourth major update. But before this update, Robbie Life hold another contest about outfits and the outfits that won was the frozen outfit, the bathroom outfit, the cardboard outfit, Arctic climber and the detective outfit. And that leads me to the next thing, the missions. There's a lot of missions, even older things like the roof and buy a house was turned into missions. But there also came many new missions. So here are some of them. Clown. Gorilla. Picnic, scare maze, and cast away mission. There's a lot more missions, like the detective missions. There were five of them in this update. Well, let's talk about other stuff than the missions. The new pet was the big cat. The new vehicles was a clown car the undercover police car and the tree wheeler. Vehicles could get damaged. And explode. So that's why there came a repair shop in this update. I don't know if this has been here a long time, but when you hit an NPC, he will follow you. Some new animations like the job complete and the job fails. And the last thing I will mention is some outfits like the sandwich hat, the old boot and the hot dog outfit. Fun fact! <laughs> you could kick people out of their cars. Yes, one more Christmas update. But this update was actually really interesting. It of course added the candy canes and snowmans again. But there came a new artifact collection. And all the artifacts are in the snow cave. It has a lot of things like the artifact collection, a hockey course, and a yeti cave. And you would get some ice juice out of it, getting every artifact in the artifact collection. Fun fact! <laughs> the snow cave actually was added in the update before, but it was really small. In the fifth major update, we are moving away from the main game 
and to a new game mode, the arcade mode. It's basically a big playground with some mini games. The mini games are hide and seek, and I hopefully don't need to explain hide and seek. It's hide and seek. But in hide and seek, there's some interesting maps. I will say. There is sandbox where you basically make your own level. There's Robby one where you, there is a course that you have two ways to get first place. Then there is Trash Zone, where one player will try to dodge furniture that the other player throws down. And then there is Mods. I've only played one mod with my friend before, so there isn't a lot I can say about it. Fun fact! <laughs> there is at least two secret rooms in arcade mode. The third room and the arcade room. Number 6 major update is kinda like the newest update. In it there came two new detective missions. And a lot of side missions. Some of them are you have to return a cow from an island, one where you have to rob a bank, and one where you have to find some goggles down the river. There came two new jobs, the artist job and the weather researcher job. And it added the Wobbly Climate Club, where you have to use a parachute in a tornado and get some data. Then there is the Sleepy Sleeper 3000, which is a dreamy world where you have to wake up the Dream King after doing many puzzles. There came a lot more, but that's like the main thing. Fun fact! 
Fun fact. <laughs> Rob Life forgot to add the cactus outfit in the first version of this update. It first came after some days. In the fourth Christmas update, it was pretty much just the same. So yeah, that's where we are right now. The new update hopefully releases soon. Thanks for watching.